Happy Monday, lovely people. Today on my art journal, I am painting the red square. Uh, the reason being I've got some Russian newspaper here and while it is, you can read up on my blog on Friday this week what the background story for this page is. It's not only just, um, well, for the sake of making art, but there's a reason for it and I'm telling you the story on my blog on Friday with close-up photos and a material list of all the materials I used on my page here. Now, uh, I did start off with said Russian newspaper and uh, I chose the parts that I wanted and uh, glued them down with gel medium. Uh, I'm planning to have parts of the uh, newspaper see through and, and be in the final design, but others I will cover up. But since I don't know exactly what part will be covered up completely and where things shine through, I did choose newspaper parts that I liked that did not have like advertisement on them, but like an article. So uh, once I had the background dry, like the newspaper dry, I did spray it with uh, some water and then put down some watercolors uh, just to tint the paper but still have the text see through and um, well be readable for everybody who can read Russian. Uh, I learned lots and lots of years ago a couple of sentences but um, I forgot pretty much all of it so oopsie. Anyway, um, I liked to work with uh, the newspaper. It feels very different than German or American paper. The ink smells different. Um, I like that. I like to collect um, newspapers from where I go or where people visit that bring something back. Because, well, like I said, they smell different. They handle differently when doing artwork. So I gave my watercolor background thing a blast of heat. And then one more because it was really saturated with water and uh, I wanted to make sure that things are dry. Now first I thought oh, I'm gonna use uh, my watercolor pencils to outline my focal point but uh, with the crinkly paper and me not being really the patient person here uh, I decided nope I'm gonna change that up and use charcoal and uh, I, I had the plan of using acrylics on top, but instead uh, of, well, uh, dissolving watercolor pencil, I dissolved charcoal here. So I used a photo from the red square as a bit of a reference on what part of um, the Kreml is where and where is that church in relation to. That's all I checked and uh, well then the rest is just my imagination. I mean I stayed kind of close-ish with the colors with that uh, terracotta red-ish ochre and the yellow ochre and the blue and a bit of a green and quite a bit of gold which by the way uh, is in there because of the orthodox um, culture in Russia. That's pretty much the representation but otherwise I stayed rather Mm, I want to say almost, well, it's not really abstract. You can definitely recognize things. But I stayed rather, let's say loose. Let's call it loose with the way I painted um, the red square. So I gave, again, I gave it a whole blast of heat there with my uh, hair dryer. And uh, then on top I went with charcoal and also white chalk to, well, have some details and definition. Like, especially on that church here, there's uh, these beautiful onion roofs. They, they look like an onion and they have very lovely colors and they're very, that is actually what um, Orthodox um, churches are or cathedrals are known for are those kinds of uh, roofs. So I wanted to do that justice and incorporate it as well as I could with the way I paint here. So uh, I added quite a bit of white chalk and black chalk charcoal to, well, get the patterns and a tiny bit of texture in there that is not too clean like if I would have painted it with ink and watercolor or like 
not going with the rather loose mixed media style here but you can recognize it well enough and uh, that is what I liked to do here you can kind of interpret or see things that you want to see like when it comes to the details but I will give you the let's say broader shapes there <laughs> you know what I mean so once I had that down uh, it was time to put some fixative on, uh, on top because I don't want the charcoal and the chalk to smudge and then I did let it dry mostly air dry it gave it a tiny bit of a blast of uh, heat in the end from my blow dryer but just a tiny tiny bit I didn't want the chalk to uh, blow away I want it to be on the page and then I only go on top once more with a touch of detail like the clock on the I think that part was actually no the mausoleum for uh, Lenin is I think to the right of the trees if I remember correctly oh uh, I don't know so on that building in front of the yellow one one behind the trees I th I'm not sure anymore what was in there if it was uh, part of the mausoleum or not anyway I'm just gonna add the clock there and just some tiny, tiny details on top that I'm just gonna smudge with my finger and just, um, well, highlight. These would be the high highlights in other kinds of artwork, you know? And uh, then I'm pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. As I said in the beginning of the video, the background story, the material list and lots of close-up photos will be up on my blog on Friday this week. The link is in the um, description box below. You can also follow me there or check up on my Facebook page if you want to know when exactly that blog post will come up. And um, I, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Do the good YouTube stuff. Thumbs up, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you tomorrow with a new piece of art. And um, it's gonna be small. It's gonna be... <clears throat> tiny <laughs> so have fun folks have a lovely day take good care bye bye